hi guys welcome back to the channel so this is my third or fourth or fifth time recording this let's hope that i get through this video <laughs> So today's video is the first entry to the Transition Diary segment here on my YouTube channel. If you don't know what that is, definitely refer back to the Life and Update and Good News video that I posted um, a few weeks ago. First entry just is what is the transitioning phase. The transitioning phase is the time set for your hair to revert back into its natural state. I transitioned for five months. I put a perm in my hair five months prior to my big child. I think I put the perm in just because I didn't know what to do with my hair. And during those five months, the perm grew out of my hair at the root. So I started off with about that much length. And there are two ways that you can do this. You can either do as myself, transition for a little bit and big chop, or you can simply transition for an extended period of time. There are some people that tra that transitioned for a year and then they eventually cut their perm ends off but you have the option of doing either too when it comes to big chopping if you're someone that doesn't mind wearing your hair in a short state or in a, at a short length go for the big chop but if you're someone that loves length and you want to hold on to it definitely opt out for a longer transitioning phase now i would say prior to doing anything to your hair really 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 think of about the decision that you're going to make. I know for sure that there was like a complete 180 change or shift in perception when I did my big chop. I walked on campus and people looked at me like, who is this person? There were some people that hated it. There were some people that liked it. There were some people that were in between, but I've never seen such a change in a matter of minutes. I went to a predominantly white school. So, you know, some white female or male never seen a black woman or even a black woman with her natural hair i would say research a lot more about natural hair definitely uh research founders of this natural hair movement for what it is today there are women out there that kind of kick-started this movement back in you know 1990s uh when we didn't have what we have now 1990s there really wasn't as many natural hair products as it is now a lot of marketing companies have shifted uh their target audience in addition to researching hair uh natural hair history or education uh, definitely get yourself educated on the various methods that you would like to use or hair regimens that you would like to experience or dabble into um they have the tightly curly method the curly girl method the max hydration method which is we ain't gonna get into that uh the lock method and other various methods and finally i would say youtube a lot of natural hair bloggers and bloggers there are so many natural hair bloggers and bloggers such as myself that are out here on the internet the ones that you seem interested in i know when i first did my big chop i youtube natural hair and the first channel that i came across was natural 85 the second youtuber was taryn guy and at the time i believe taryn had a shirt cut so um i was also relating well i related to her because i was I had my hair you know in a short length so that's all that i have for you guys for today um i will continue this whole transition diary segment and you know if i find that the topics are getting a little redundant i would definitely ask you guys what it is that you would like to see so that's it guys thanks for watching and subscribe